Hello one and all. Today I'm going to try to bake a cake using stovetop since my oven has died right now and I'm waiting for a part for it and I do need to make a cake for today. So I'm going to go through the process and I hope it comes out well. I'll be using an iron pot that's going to be holding the heat and whatever else I put underneath it and this is the one that's the baking pan. It's going to sit here but according to some YouTube videos shouldn't allow it to touch the bottom so I'm going to make sure that's going to be the case and do what I have to do to have the heat distribute evenly around it and hopefully bake the cake. I chose this one even though it's hard shaped because it fits perfect in here and I'm going to see how this turns out. Also once it's ready and covered up with a pot it'll be sitting on a stove for about a half hour and then we're going to see. As an added bit of information I'm going to use this baking container, it's a real small one. This is going to keep my pan away from the bottom of that. So I shouldn't have to worry about it burning. And that's how I'm going to do it. So we're going to see again if this works. Okay, my cake mix is uh, ready. I'm using a rum cake recipe. I'm sure any cake mix will do. Uh, it's a box cake with some few other added ingredients such as rum and uh, when we get ready to put it into the preheated pot. As you can see I have it on the stove. It's very hot right now. I recommend that you use this to open it up. So this is going to be its own little teeny weeny oven basically. So this is what I'm going to do. Get this ready. I'm going to take it up. Should be nice and hot, try not to burn myself. And cover it up. There. Anyways, we should be uh, hopefully within 30 minutes. I'm hoping to have a cake. I'm going to even set my timer just to, let's put it for 29 minutes just to be on the safe side. And uh, the timer is ready. So now it's timing down. The, the heat I put is medium. It's not that high. Actually, they recommend the medium. It's kind of high. So I'm going to drop it down a little bit just to make sure that we are good. Now it should be even heat all around, but the bottom should not be touching. The bottom of the cake pan should not be touching the iron pot's bottom. So we're going to see in about 30 minutes what happens. Well, it's been 30 minutes. This is my result. It's coming around, but it's still um, soft in the middle. So I'm going to have to leave it a little longer. I uh, raised the heat up a little bit too, just to see if that helps. Because like I said, this is the first time for me to try this. So I'm curious, but it looks like uh, we're coming, it's coming around. So we'll give it another 15, 20 minutes. Okay, it's so about, about 50 minutes later. I had to, uh, but you can see, I, it's nice and dry. The cake actually did, for the most part, did pretty good. I was kind of worried about it burning maybe. I'll see what the bottom looks like when I take it out. So, um, so far I guess it's been successful. I hope it didn't burn in the other parts. I hope that the uh, bottom itself you know, never didn't get an issue. So uh, we're going to see how this turns out. I'm going to get ready to take it out. Okay, now that I separated the uh, side from the main cake, um, I think the bottom burned a little bit, at least in this part. The back seems to be okay though, but it's just this piece right here. I don't know why I got like that. So what I'm going to have to do is um, I'm going to have to trim it and turn it upside down and cut that off and I should have a decent cake I hope. This is the bottom of the pan. A little bit of cake got stuck. This is actually made for cheesecake. I should have put the parchment paper just to make sure it didn't stick even though I did put a uh, oil spray on there. Unfortunately that's uh, didn't work out as I expected. Well, it's the first time. And here's the bottom of the cake, which I'm going to trim, make it nice and flat, and flip it back over, and it should be okay to use. Okay, well, there you have it. I trimmed the bottom, so uh, it's not perfect. I'll give it that, but uh, but it did come out. For the most part, it actually worked. Uh, maybe a slight burning over here, but um. I think what I have to do next time, if I decide to do this again, is to uh, keep the temperature low and cook it for longer. Otherwise, if the temperature is too high, it's, um, 
little bit has a tendency of burn. And uh, I'll look at some more YouTube videos and how to perfect that. I got a little bit of burnt crumbs on top. I'll deal with that. So that's uh, that was my experiment. For the most part, it worked at least until I get my oven fixed, and then uh, I'll go back to my usual baking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and shows that it is possible to cook on a stove top.